This is photographer Fifi Chung's exhibition at the Corbin Estate Gallery. For emerging artists like her, gallery space like this is a rare opportunity. Today, she's taking her pieces down in preparation for an Auckland City exhibition. Fifi is the director of the artists' collective, Crossover. Their objective, to help new artists break into the art scene. To be able to help those who are struggling, okay, and so just closing the gap to be able for them to actually bridge it so they can actually um, extend and have the confidence to actually keep going and say, yes, I want to hold on to this passion and do it as my career. It is very difficult to do it by yourself. Um, do it as a collective, you probably have more critique, um, you know, more feedback, more responses. Um, mostly what a lot of galleries do is they contract an artist so that that artist will continue showing and selling from their gallery. And most of them are established artists. And so here we are, emerging artists, sort of like we want to get our work out there, but we don't know how. This collective takes on artists from every field, crossing over from one art form to another. They collaborate with other organizations and promote their artists to galleries. The goal is to get as much exposure as they can. And since the group is a non-profit organization, their work is a labor of love. If artists with Crossover end up selling their work through us, we don't get any commission at all because our idea is to just full on bring them out there to the public. Um, and if they get known because of what we did, then that's enough for us. We don't care about the money. In terms of sponsorship, I guess we just have to write a pretty damn good proposal or something. Now Crossover has teamed up with K-Road Art Event First Thursdays to get at least one artist in every month. For us, um, we really wanted to bring in quite a multicultural element into First Thursdays and Crossover has really helped us do that. This event we're featuring Sister, Darlene, Fifi and Miriam and they're just from such a diverse background so it's really, it's a good compliment to First Thursdays. And we really work well together, down to five years. Aubrey's been really great to work with, giving us recommendations on artists to uh, feature at First Thursdays. One of those artists is Sister Darling, who made her biggest sale in the event. First Thursdays really helped me a lot in terms of putting my work out there and really getting, you know, valuable context and publicity and also buyers. Apart from painters and photographers, poets also took to the stage with Aubrey leading. A long highway of this vicious cycle, a million, billion, trillion, gazillion turns. As the evening drew on and the crowd grew, Crossover's directors are very pleased with the night's results. People actually discuss and you know, create an open discussion about things that they usually don't see a lot. And, but you know, this is New Zealand. This is a new emerging New Zealand artist that we're talking about. So I'm very, very proud, very excited. First Thursdays is always good. Uh, and given that this is the first poetry event, it's not bad given that the audience was really attentive and it was quite good. It was, it was very pleasing how it turned out. With Crossover now on the scene, new artists are sure to have an even better chance at breaking through.